Okay, you release this album. By the time you release the album, have you released the next video? Um, or did that come together? Come see, come sa. Okay. The chronology is not too too great. Um, but you know, in 2005 is when I released my testimony, and I believe in 2005 is also when I released Mpenzi. Mm. So Mpenzi, very interesting. Uh, big shout out, Pastor Mlandi, uh, Zabo. Um, Zabo gave me a great venue at uh, Stony Athi. Yo. The land belongs to the late General Mulinge. Um, really cool space. And the, the mom was very open and she allowed us to shoot. And we went to Areki, talked to the mom, asked for permission. And she said, cool, man, we'll support you. What do you need? I told her, I just need this house the way it is. <laughs> let me, let me, I'll put the camera here and I film. She's like, sa, sa. So we filmed it. Uh, I brought some of my friends from church mm. Manjeru as is actors. Not, I mean, in fact, I, I, I yeah. So, story. so this is a very interesting story. Yeah, yeah. So Manjeru, I, I, I believe Manjeru was an IT guy. Uh, so Manjeru, after we record, Manjeru is a very talented vocalist. I think even how I met Manjeru was through Kanji. Mm. So I was like, I wanted to have my album to have different flavors. That's why you see me work with different producers, uh, recording in different studios, and also feature different artists. Mm. So like I wanted somebody who could sing a ballad, and remember I told you my background was 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 country, into the R and B hip hop mm. space. So my my when I think R and B, it clicks. Um, Tevin Campbell, it 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 takes Tony Braxton, Babyface. Mm, mm. You know I wanted that kind of sound. So, and I'd write my songs, I'd write my lyrics, and and come up with the melodies. Then I'd look for a vocalist. Who I feel can best chomoa this melody like this. Oh, so. So I seek with the let's say and you write everything. I write everything. So if you look at my album, you see written by. So where where somebody has co-written, I credit them. Mm, like Anza Tender with Riga. Yeah, Riga wrote French. Mm. <laughs> Mimi French. Jean uh, Hom <laughs> Bro, like uh, my, my fathers, their verses they wrote themselves. Mm. You know, so I credit them. But so now for the vocalist, I, I've always like looked for, had an ear and I'm like, who can do this? So I listen to people's songs or people's recordings or demos. And then I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's try this guy on this song. So I bring them in the studio and then I teach them the melody. Mm. So we work with the producer. So I teach them the melody and then the producer assists now to, also, because also melody helps in the, mm. in the additional elements on a track, mm. a track lead. Yeah. That's crazy. So when you saw the video, so Manjero says he can't be in the video again. <laughs> Second time, uh, he says he's not about publicity. He's not trying to give in the public life. So yeah, try be Melissa the guy it So I'm like this song from Penzi. I can't be singing the hook. Me, I'm not a singer. I'm a rapper. So I need somebody to act in the video. So I got my boy K1. <laughs> Big shout out K1. So K1. People, people call A Makmende. <laughs> People call K1 Manjero, Manjero. but he's not Manjero. He's just an actor. Yep. And but he played it very well. So obviously I had to teach him the song. I gave him the CD. Go listen, cram, memorize with the house. Yeah, so that when he's ad libbing in the video, mm. it's in sync. And it also gives the editor easy time to edit. Um, yeah, so it was awesome. And Kiguta was playing my wife in that video. So it's a story about love. It's a story about waiting for your one love. And, and that love being founded in Christ, mm. you know, because they say that uh, Christ is the author of marriage and any marriage that is not set in Christ is bound to fail. Mm. That's profound, right? It does later on. Hallelujah. <laughs> Life you, you, sometimes uh, is full circle. Yeah, you came to <laughs> You come back to, to your truth. Song. Yeah, yeah, you come to, to take your own advice. <laughs> <laughs> Praise Jesus. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, man. So, it's okay. what it is. It's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Bye.
first met you caught me looking at you on her eyes, man. It was like I was in another planet where the lilies and palm trees are dancing like a banquet. I was in my own world running around dancing. Cause the way you look brought joy to the evening. It got worse when I found myself walking towards you. Not in control of my feelings about you. Not even knowing how I was going to approach you. Didn't care if I wasn't gonna get dismissed. Cause deep inside I had a good feeling about this. Looking at you closely, so warm and so simple A beautiful smile, got a glimpse of your dimples This was a movie for sure, it was a sequel This the day I met you, put my heart in a breeze of life change You introduced me to That song Chomokas. Now let me not lie to you. That's actually how I heard about DNG. Yeah. Forget even some hair one. And for me, I'm just newly born again. I'm watching the, I'm watching straight up with Grace Msalame. Yeah, yeah. Hey, big shout out and, Grace. And I've seen Grace Msalame also at Bapo. Yeah, and I'm I was like, in the Yo. same church, yeah. Uh, I'm also on Gong Road. I start coming to Bapo. That song blows up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, Benzi was a very interesting song because great video yeah thank you at yeah. least in my production began to improve it yeah i mean yeah. dude you are ahead let's again for say the time at the you time yes count the amount of people doing music videos this is 2005 yeah 2006 five. Five, yeah. Five, eh? mm. who was doing music videos in 2005 very few of us very yeah. few of us yeah and then after that your next video you even set the bar yeah hey <laughs> now i did ted josiah blue yeah. friends we we'll come to that yeah we shout out ted so yo um and here now we've we started doing multi-cam video shoots any multi-angle like for which one now from Penzi. Oh, nice. Now we're step, I'm stepping up the game. Who shot the video? Uh, what is the guy's name, man? Uh, you'll see Unless you check the credits. Yeah, you'll see in the credits, yeah. You guys have worked with so many people. Eh? Some of these things put there. I think the girl's called Simon. If I'm not wrong, it's the same guy who shot Samehewa who shot Mpenzi. Mm, the same guy. I get it. So I retained him as a producer. You but now I insisted on, yeah, on, on better cameras. Now I put in more money. So able now to hire better cameras. It's that time I think we're shooting on Panasonics. Mm. Yeah. Kitumzuri. Kitambo we're shooting on high eights. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if anyone knows what a high eight is. Yeah. You have to Google that. Those are for the big Kitambo, it's for the, the, <laughs> the cassette was a big thing. Yeah. Mm. It's like a handicap, man. Mm. This is uh Mombasa with my family. Yeah. <laughs> like low budget farm. But like there was no money. Yeah. So me I've gotten some ch- some cheddar. I'm investing, I'm budgeting that cash now. I'm panging it. Like I need to pay this producer this. I need to pay this video. I need director to do distribution. This. I need to sell yeah, this many. I need to print. I need to pay a designer. Mbithi Masia. Masia is was the guy who designed my nice. my album cover. Nice. He's, he's even in the video, if I'm not wrong. No, he's not he's in budget. one, I think one video. I think Anza Tena. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So then later they would Shikana and Duma Kmende. Yes. The Blinky Bill. Yeah. And all that. So so yeah so we, we we shot that video there and and Mpenzi was a huge success because i believe this love is a very beautiful concept mm. and funny enough if you google dng most of the things that appear is about my love stories <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it, i don't know why but people have always been intrigued by my love life mm. and but love is if you look at movies if you look at series love is is a theme that transcends across across backgrounds, across gender, across age bracket. Like you can watch a love story with your lady and your guka and your young bro and or sis, mm. and everyone is understanding the plot. Mm. You see what I mean? Mm. And God is love. So of the greatest this love. Yes. The greatest is love. And then also, it, it was at a time when Christians were not expected to sing about love. Christians were expected to sing from the Bible. Eh, hey, tumeokoka, tumeokoka, you know? Uh-huh. But DNG now comes and sings Mpenzi we mina kupenda, nashukuru Mola kwa kutuleta pamoja. Siku ya ndoa, 
nitangoja kwa ni we ni penzi langu namba moja penzi we you know so I, I i was breaking and shattering all <laughs> boundaries barriers <laughs> everything yep. i was demolishing status quo yep that's true people did not like it but those who did loved it loved it. Mm. like i was giving my generation a voice so I, i remember asking pastor mlandi and we'd organize youth camps and all that and that's how i started doing events I'd organize youth camps, do logistics, get transi, panga Shubapo. program for Nairobi Baptist Church. Yes. All that. Even like Those they, the they'd have school uh, uh, buses and I introduced them to Jimsy school bus. Was my neighbor till I think today they use Jimsy. Yeah. That was my connect. Big shout out. Like that and Do you know what I hear from your story? You were first a business person before a musician. You've yeah. your, your character um is fast business that's your uh, almost like an entrepreneur business person yeah. then the creative comes in so the creative has to mold into this yeah. business structure of a person that you are and that's why for me the music disappointed me because it did not have return on investment mm. i was disappointed that my music could not pay back the money that i put in yeah um in terms of album sales and, and gigs and stuff like that and that's why i decided to let let it go and 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 pursue art in a different manner and i took a paradigm shift uh now into emceeing yeah and emceeing unlocked radio which unlocked television yep, yep, yep. which unlocked events and activations your mouth your mouth and the rest. To do under. yeah yeah so okay it's so history. so you release this song does it catapult you as a musician mad because mpenzi transcended even into what we used to call at the time secular, secular exactly so the secular is what we call mainstream today it's it's mm. it's those gospel and secular it was yep. a big divide mm. but today you have it's neither here nor there yes. you know again then it was very rare distinct yeah to hear if disuza play a gospel song yeah so here's if disuza playing Mpenzi yeah yeah on capital stop nine yeah. at nine exactly so like it it transcended so now people who are playing uh music that belong to secular artists would play pens in the mix. Mm. So let's say you have a Nonini track or a Jokali track, a Prezo track, you have a DNG track. <laughs> so my brand became mainstream. So it became it began to transcend. So in the pulse you'd read <clears throat> excuse me or even the bars on nation you'd read about secular artists and then DNG. Mm. So, social media of our time <laughs> yeah the, that time there was no facebook there was no mm. twitter that just started 20 yeah uh, at that time we had high high eight high five high five, five, high high five, five yeah. and myspace we didn't even mm. even youtube was Nada. non-existent so we couldn't mm. even promote our music so we were dependent extremely on media media houses supporting and pushing the art form so beyond that now hard publicize myself is through the gigs going to high schools going to universities going prisons doing gigs you know for like word of life uh, doing mm. a camp for youth in the grand finale dng has been invited i'm performing with gospel fathers so you did become the biggest gospel artist for a time yeah bro from when i won kora i've never lost a chaguo still when I, until when i stopped doing gospel music yo can you buy your first okay what was the after kora what was the next award you won chaguo chaguo latini is i won chaguo every year every year best songwriter gospel artist <laughs> nini hizo <laughs> na zichota year in year, year out. out and you see my fan base was was organic it's people hey. when you're talking about chagula tinis i used to perform for tinis every weekend perhaps 3 4 5 times a week Dude, in different you, schools let me re- let me remind you a story yeah. can you remember me you and jugush we jump into their new is it pro box not pro box that car, car. A D, a D. yeah a toyota uh, those dx yes that they had been corolla mm. and where do we go kitari onyeli onyeli yeah. me you and jugush we do like six high schools yeah Nyeri back Bako. to back is that the other and this is why i know you are huge even there the chicks were just where the mcs where the guys on sound where yeah. the every where the three guys on that yeah. place and for me it's also like how I, i learned even how to do events planning logistics you have to have transport accommodation you have to have pa that that was my training ground but you're right like the the love the love has always been enormous and for me my love from fans is countrywide it's 
it's not just Nairobi. Yeah. So sometimes, you know, I used to see people like hating online, but when I go on ground, that story is not even there. Yeah. Like I remember doing a show for Tasca later after I stopped doing gospel. Tasca, we did it in, uh, I did Meru, Simba Wells, and I did a club called Beehive in Maua. Mm. This is like two, when I joined Jomino. Yeah. Bro, that time my scandal story, for, for backsliding, yeah. my scandal for the NGA me watch a gospel, sasa na kunywa kombe, in a trend uku Nairobi sana. You know, sometimes we people forget, eh? This is a country of 47 plus million Kenyans. Yep. <laughs> so when you're trending in a newspaper that is only big in Nairobi, a newspaper that the president amezema ni akuvunga <laughs> nyama, <laughs> vitu kwa ground ni different. So sometimes, you, you know, I, I love when I see people talking about me sharing my screenshots on, on Instagram. Those are how many people you're talking to? Very few. Kwa ground, take the NG on ground and see. Watch my gigs. It doesn't matter what people write or say at the NG. Kwa yu bashi ya taska, watu wana katamaji na yembea hizo songu za banjuka na nini. People are like, apana, sasa tuimbia ya gospel. <laughs> Because that's the DNG they know. You know yes. They are like, Imba Paka is all. Oh. <laughs> now, so, 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 you Imba them. Now, Piga, so I made it wasn't even part of my, my performance track. So, what? now I have to ask the DJ, you do, you, do you have this? <laughs> of course, he does. I'm Pigging it. I'm Pigging for them, Penzi. That is okay. Let's you, we're you going, get. Yeah, we're, we're going to get to this. Uh, you get, you know, there's so much. I even forgot about the Jomino <laughs> story. You get there. But okay, let me ask about this and then we talk about the transition out of gospel yeah. and the tenor. Because, and the reason why I'm asking about this is because for me, you've always, quality wise, you've always been about stepping up things. Yeah. And when you did answer tenor, I was like, okay, this guy, now he's, we're no longer talking on. Even gospel guys are looking at you like, hey, yeah, hey, this is we, too much. Yeah, yeah. We, we need to we need to learn from DNG. Yeah. So what happened is, I've always. Fa- and by the way, now are you making money? This is another thing I remember. You are charging guys for shows. Yeah. Um. I started. I started making money later. Okay. When I was being gospel, I wasn't making any money. You weren't charging guys. I wasn't. I wasn't being paid, bro. I swear to God, like Niku uza two CDs. Eh, uza two CDs. That's how I used to survive selling CDs. I used to sell CDs, tapes. I sell posters. Yeah, yeah. Hey, t-shirts. T-shirts. Hey, bro, you had merchandise. Yes, you merchandise. I used to sell them. So when I'm seeing guys that they have a record, I mean, uh, a label today, I did that. Dude, you also had fans from abroad. Remember when I would come yeah. and buy albums from yeah. you and send, and then I, I, because I fungwada <laughs> iTunes. But with FedEx, yeah. <laughs> but with delivery, but guys from abroad would buy it. I mean, yeah. I wasn't making revenue off it. That's why I stopped. But the demand was there. Exactly, revenue was chini. Demand has always been there. But sometimes I felt like our generation also did not have uh, enough um, um, money to buy and support the craft. Your album was going at five socks. I sold my album at five hundred because I invested so much in it. Um, then you know, if I sell my album at five hundred and a store picks it up, let's say Asanans or Kasangas, Ooh. now they take it to like eight fifty, a thousand shillings. You see, I get okay, it's so, a bit expensive. So, and then those were the days before downloads; we couldn't sell uh, them yeah. online. It was really hard. So, um, so answer tenor for me was a very important st- step, as you say, in terms of quality. So I used to watch Ted Josiah's videos. I'd watch Prezo. I'd watch um, Nidij. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nikki, and I'm like, this quality is phenomenal, man. And so I don't even know how I met Dij and Kina Mongolo. I, I can't remember exactly where I met them, but I got introduced to Ted Josiah, and I went to Ted. I'm sure they came and, to you for its VP. I think it was his VP, and that's how we started talking because Mongolo used to do that thing of Waji, Waji, Waji for the window, baby, <laughs> crazy <laughs> stuff, and. And I used to find it really hilarious. And, and, and I remember telling Ted, I went to Ted with my vision. I told him, Ted, I've been seeing your videos, blue frames, and anything you put your name to, from Kinahari Kimani, higher, mm. top quality, man. I was like, I want to do... Chuki. Yeah. Waire. And I want to do a really good video that will change the game for my craft and also set the bar for gospel music. You know, and and so I decided to pick one of my best songs for my album, Anza Tena, which is a song yeah, I really liked. And Anza Tena, I tested, you know, in the market, and I realized when I get on stage and I do that thing for, hey, 
it's crazy mm. it's crazy people were responding like MCs. Yeah. Yeah. Like your MC. it's like i was mc yeah. so i realized now if i put a video it will push this song to the next level to give me more eyeballs and visibility so i told ted let's do it so we actually shot that video majority of it in ted's office <laughs> there's a place where it's like a club scene that's his so he used to have a house with a yes. studio and mm. all that so that's where we shot it then part of it i shot at uh, nairobi nairobi safari club lillian towers in town mm. they sponsored me and gave me the penthouse so, so how the, did you get that? how did you get that I, confidence bro like going in and talking to people so let's say there's and a young guy now watching so so bro because you, you, you didn't know connect did you have anyone no to? i didn't have connect like there's beauty in self-belief and, and knocking on doors knock on doors and they shall be open knock on doors they shall be open and you shall enter Yo. or you shall break in <laughs> and sit on the sofa set so i walk in i tell these guys at lillian towers hey my, my name is dng at that time everyone knows dng once i work at Nisa, i think like there's something special about starting in church because there's favor the favor of god and church people like gospel music mm. so they support it and then i'd, I'd met uh, a lady called waki wakonyo gear big shout out she's a big lo- time mm. lawyer mm. and 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 Waki gave me her, her husband's Benz, not, not a Benz, a BMW, I beg your pardon. And I drove that Benz in the video. I didn't have even cash to hire a car. You know how artists are hiring cars in videos? Your time, kuna do kama yo. So it's favors and talking to people. So I met Waki through a friend and, and she supported my music. And, and, and she, she, she was ready to, to, to support my, my career. And so uh, the husband came at night with the car, gave me the car, we drove, drove in Tao filming, I returned the car, sent it in Garimzuri. What? <laughs> and then I got a friend of mine called Tabu to feature in the video. Yeah, She's yeah. the chick dropping the towel mm. and all Nini that. Washira's Nini Washira's younger sister, mm. yeah, Tabu Gater. Uh, then of course Riga, Riga had met him through Kubamba, K Crew. So he was one of the young MCs and I found Riga's rap so English, English. Yeah, and I was like, hey, you guy from the States or what? Come on this track. <laughs> then, you know, he, he delivered and we shot a great video. And, and Anzatena had a mix of the story and the energy. Towards the end, we we're doing that thing we used to do at Bapo, yeah, and uh, that video changed the game. Even for me, it's, it's one of my best videos. I remember shooting it in Tao, like on a Sunday, there's nobody. So we used to shoot on, on Sunday morning, early mm. seven. Kabla watu anze kutoka church nini anze kuwa makelele na watu wengi una shoot mapema Tejo sir And then let me tell you a funny story in this in this uh, Anza Tenda story <laughs> So I give Ted the down payment And then he used to have this guy I can't remember his name Ah uh, I can't remember the guy's name but so the Ted had this worker who used to do logistics or ops and he was given cash to buy lights the bulbs <laughs> and he put them out. No way. Ashiki simu square shoot. Mse opipia me ameenda amepiga kongo amezima. So square shoot na tafuta umse hatuna lights nini. Hizo makadi. Ilikuwa noma. But finally aliamka na akakamu. I can't remember his name. Ay ay. Remember it. Sorry. That's funny. Hey, oh, nilifanya vitu mingi mbaya hey. 
Reception. Awesome. Top. For, for, I, I, you know, I pushed that level of, of gospel hip hop mainstream. Like, you could play my Anzatena jam with the big boys in the, in the hip hop industry yeah. at the time. You That's know, true. You could place it with a Juan or Nina Prezo, a Bamboo. Yeah. That's true. Okay, okay let's, 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 let's talk now about this transition. Yeah. Because me, I've this now, and I've met you, and I remember would come and with the Jugush, and we're like, yeah, you guy, don't go. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> yo, Liani, don't, please, man. I love you going to USIU, like DNT. But not even, it, for me, it wasn't even about going to USIU. Yeah. It was, I could see your questions were like, yo, uh, I'm Maori. But what I love you for is, dude, you've never been again on the fence. Yeah. I'm yeah, either hot or cold, bro. You're all in. Even, even till today, you're all yeah. in. Or I hope until today you're still like that. Straight. So let's talk about this transition because, hey, this was, it was great. Um, so I, I began questioning my faith. And if you listen to my album, you'll, you'll hear a lot of that. You'll hear temptation. You'll hear hold on. So my testimony, I'm telling myself and I'm also telling others. Mm -hmm. It's a conversation, like just like this. And I've always been honest with my art and my, my, my brand. And so when I'm talking about struggling with the chiles and 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 that kind of life it's it's ex ex exactly who i've been it's not a story it's it's a battle i've had for many years even through my adulthood you know and that's where some of these uh, scandals chomoka from right and i remember asking god like why is this journey so difficult why is it that the things that i want to do man i don't do but the things that i don't want to do is what yeah, i do mm -hmm. Huh? I'm just, I'm such a wretched man. Who's going to save me? That's on my album. Mm. Yeah? Somebody help me. Like, and I remember questioning, like, am I the only one who's struggling like this? Or are you out there, you know, who's also experiencing this, this challenge? So as young people trying to conform to the church and to the faith, it was extremely difficult because of, of background and also the elements around us. So for me, I started questioning, like, why can't I have a mama? So I remember there was a thing we used to be taught in church called Master Mission Meet. <laughs> that you had to meet your master, understand your mission, and then align your mate to your mission. So until you understand your mission, you can't get a mate aligned to your mission. So I'm like, so I, I can't date. That time like I was dating this Chilean church man say, it's on, Yanni. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, why can't I have this, Yanni? <laughs> And I remember asking Pazam Landi, like, oh, oh, this story of Master Mission Mate, where is it in the Bible? Iko wapi? Ulisikia wapi? Like, unatufunza based on nini? Oh, iko kwa mission, atisijui, bibi anani, alimsaidia kuku. Hizo ni ma doctrines a watu. Kwa mungu, anasema tu, love your neighbors, you love yourself. And the greatest of this is love. Hakuna story mingi. So, sisi tunayekanga vikwazo vikwazo mingi kwa faith. Ambo inafukuza watu inji ya kanisa ba. And that's where for me I was like, this is not working for me. Ba. This is not what I want to do. I was questioning why I can't listen to secular music, why I can't go to the club, why I can't have a drink. That doesn't mean I don't love God. I love God till today, man. Mm. I have a relationship. No, I have a relationship with God till today. In fact, In fact that's a very good question. nowadays I think I'm even more forgiving, I'm more honest. I'm more understanding than Kitambo when I was a gospel artist. Mm. So I believe like God walks with you. And once 
God anoints you and God chooses you. You never cease to be his child.